Okay, Marco, Polo, audio check. Marco, Polo. Alright, let's try this. Marco Polo, check. How am I getting worse every time? My buying trade's all over the place. Okay, Marco Polo, can you fucking fix this stupid audio? I don't know what more this thing wants from me. It's always a damn hardware issue. Battery and check switch for updates. I have my battery installed. I got a new battery. I literally just replaced it. Oh, now it's working. <laughs> All right. Sounded good. Hopefully that fixed. All right, for those of you who um, are sensitive to sudden flashing transitions, please heed the photosensitivity warning. There is not a lot of them, but they are present. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to The Evil Within. Let's jump right in. So, we are on the last chapter of the main story, but that is not all for The Evil Within. We still have the assignment and the consequence. I am going to do one last check of my audio to make sure it hasn't shifted on me. I will do my best to tell you if it dies again. Thank you. I appreciate it. Fingers crossed it doesn't, but Lord knows it doesn't, never actually stays put. Anyways, let's get started. Okay then, whatever the hell that was. Do we please have Tetsuya on the back? Oh, I can't sprint. Oh. Also, did Seb just shoot himself? What was going on there? Nobody here at all? Oh. Oh. 
Internal Affairs Interview Transcript, March 13, 2013. Investigator Fee? Hi? I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm going to go with Investigator Fee. Um, please correct me if I'm wrong on that in the comments. You know why you're here? Detective Castellanos. Because you people aren't doing your job. Fee. You've been pursuing an unauthorized investigation and using KCPD resources to do so. In addition, there are reports of threats, intimidation, and physical violence. Castellanos, if you had any proof of those allegations, you'd be taking my badge and gun right now. You've obviously been careful, otherwise we would have. But we're watching you. Castellanos, you're not the only ones. B, what's that supposed to mean? Castellanos, keep following me. You'll find out soon enough. B, you keep drinking like you do. We won't have to. Castellanos, I've got work to do. Are we finished here? B, for now, but you're on thin ice, Castellanos. If I get even one more report, you're through. Castellanos, I'll be through when it's over. Detective Castellanos leaves the interview room. Ruvik? Leslie! Losing our mind. Losing our mind. Let me through! Leslie! Losing our mind. Leslie! Losing our mind. This way. I didn't even get the save. Hey, wait. The hell? He's fast. He is fast. Stop patting the wall, Sib. Uh, Leslie, it's not safe here. Well, I guess it's not safe anywhere. This way. Where Working on it. Down. This way. Working on it. Come on, Seb, get up. There you go. Beacon, just like Joseph said. I didn't even get the save. I know there's a checkpoint and everything, I'm just saying. We literally got dragged out of our save room. Come on, Seb. You got it. Leslie! Whoa. What? Leslie trying to lead us to where he is? Hey! 
Whoa. Oh yeah, definitely. look like tap, but not gonna lie, it worried me for a second. What the hell? Okay, if it wasn't before... Shit is getting real now. Either Leslie is trying to lead us, or he's gotten to the point where he's actively affecting STEM. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, no, can't go that way. Alright, actively this way. Yep, we were coming here before. Let's Joseph. Can't open that, though? Okay. Weird, but alright. Yeah, we are supposed to go this way. No? <laughs> Both of which are concerning implications for a multitude of reasons. Oh yeah. Okay, there's a door open. Wait a minute! Jimenez was at that door last time. Seb went to check out these cameras. And that's when Ruben cut everything off. What the hell? I mean more than just that Leslie's in danger. Oh yeah. That sign can't stop me because I can't read. Um. <laughs> what the hell? Where are we going? I don't gear solid anyone? down there faster. What the fuck, man? You brought this on yourself. How? Pleasure. Rage. Ecstasy. Blending together into a single piercing noise. Until the darkness was broken by sparks. Like twinkling starlight. The pain. 
I know it auto played. I wanted to get in the. the whoa. Archives. What the hell? Listen. Oh, just so I'm quiet, I'm trying to figure everything out. If he is consciously affecting STEM, then that means that there is either two cores now, or Ruben is actively giving up power, which means that he's probably saving up and consolidating for something big. Oh boy. I hate that you're right. I hate that you're more than likely right. Newer note from the sewer. We got one last time. Do you still dream of escape? So near at hand. What is the point of dreaming when your body lies here, never moving? R. That has to be... Beside the lock gate at the far end of the sewer, there's a ladder which would take you to the old ward. If you could make it through there, you would find an elevator leading outside. You would be the one who escaped. You might be the one who survived. R. That's gotta be Reuben! That has to be. I, I, that can't just be me that's thinking that, right? And I said that it was probably Ruben. Holy shit, I was right. Yeah, you did say that. Episode 1. Which is up on YouTube in the full VOD, by the way. Um, holy shit, there probably is Ruben. That's like exactly the- that's the way he talks, too. And when your body lies here, never moving, he's stuck in st- Oh my god. That was Ruben. That has to be. I'm trying to think. Also, if I recall correctly, there's literally no one else here whose name starts with an R. We have Marcello, we have Julie, Joseph, Seb, obviously, Tatiana, Leslie. We had Oscar at the beginning. No one else's name here starts with an R. It's fucking Ruben. You're, you, yeah, no, you're straight up right in episode one. That is straight up Ruben. I don't know if I want to go this way. This seems like it's progressing further than I want to. Oh, but so is that. Here. I don't think too I could use the ammo. Anything to do with those? No. Holy shit. Sorry, not sorry, I'm investigating for ammo. We're more than likely going to need it. Holy crap, the way everything just starts piecing together. Oh. 
Also, can confirm holding A regenerates your stamina more than pressing. It's like don't tap, hold A. This was in there before. Wait, was it and Ruben blocked it off? Or is this just straight up all new? I think either Ruben took us out of this area or he blocked this off. I can't remember. I just know that wasn't there before. If it was, we certainly didn't go through here. Leslie. Leslie. Seb, can you stop walking and get your ass in gear? some point. By the time I realized Jimenez had betrayed me, it was too late. I was so close. He knew it. Knew that I was too focused to notice when he brought those men. They'd never gotten past my traps otherwise. Their device is a perversion of my own. The device I should have created. My data. My equipment. My theories. My mind. They replaced my husk of a body with a new dimension of torment. Oh, man. We haven't. The sewers were similar, but it wasn't where we were earlier. I thought so. Holy shit. This is all new and branded with the you-know-who symbol, which is the most concerning. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's definitely concerning. Why do I feel like that's not Leslie? Something is wrong. Yeah, we're both getting the hint of that, eh? Why do I feel like that's not Leslie? Something is very, very wrong. Agreed. Calling it right now, that's not Leslie. Either that... Or Leslie has managed to outdo Reuben.
Either that's not Leslie or he's managed to out overpower Reuben. That was way off. That is not how he walks. You got that too, eh? That is not how he walks. The body language is completely off. There's no way it's him. Exactly. You picked up on that too. Leslie's always hunched over and like curl, kind of like curled in on himself. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Those were Ruben's. Those were Ruben's mannerisms. Hold on. Those were fucking. Uh, come on, tell me that's not just me. Those were Ruben's mannerisms. That turn, that smirk. Yeah, it's fucking Ruben. You cannot tell me otherwise that, that those were not Ruben's mannerisms. That turn, that smirk, the confident walk, the way he opened up the doors, that was fucking Ruben. I'm calling it right now. That's fucking Ruben. That's not Leslie. I think Ruben fucking won. Like, over Leslie. Because he's been getting into Joseph and Seb's head the entire goddamn time. Oh, shit. Okay. Kick him to gear. Let's go. Where's the fuck? Which side am I on? That's where we want to go. Okay, let's go. Oh, no. Oh, that just sent a fucking chill down my spine. Um, hate to do this, but just give me a minute. I am actually going to go grab a water. I can keep- I'm he keeping my headset on, I'm keeping you guys with me, but just- That was fucking Ruben. I just- I'm walking away from chat, and I'm heading downstairs to grab a water. That was a thousand percent Ruben's fucking mannerisms. That wasn't Leslie. Oh, you can't fucking hide that from me, Victoriano. Holy shit. If I'm wrong, I swear to God, man. If I'm wrong and Leslie just suddenly has some newfound confidence that we didn't fucking see earlier... Okay, okay, let's think about this. How long, though? What do you mean? How long has Ruben potentially been in Leslie's head? <sighs> I'm back uh, to chat, by the way. My water bottle's just being difficult. <laughs> there we go. Leslie's teleport, the waves affecting the surroundings, they were all slightly off. Were they? Leslie has been getting stronger, too. Leslie's been getting way stronger. Oh, shit. Okay, good. The new episode should hopefully be exported. Okay, let's... Oh, shit. Ruben's power tends to have a blue tinge to them, something we haven't seen from Leslie yet. That's right, too. His is more like a white. Oh, shit. Plus, Leslie got in the save room. I don't think he's done... I think that was only a Ruben thing. I can't recall if he's done that before or not. I thought it was only Ruben that's managed to get in there. Okay, let's... Holy shit. What the... F oh no. What the... F <laughs> Damn it! 
Hey! I know! <laughs> Watch out for his eye. What? If you want to live, you avoid Rubik's eye. Watch out for his eye. What's that supposed to mean? You'll see. Okay, now that change is absolutely Ruben fucking with us now. Oh, yeah. Poor guy. Rest in peace. Who is he? I'm not taking that chance. Last match, I know. What? Okay. I'm actually a little bit scared. Oh no. Climb again. Okay. Assuming it's an arena. Sub, what the hell, man?
Apologies for quiet, I'm just severely focused. Okay. Fantastic. Yes. Oh no 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 no! Nope, not that one. God damn it. Yes. Oh my god. I just can't spawn right now. I'm really preoccupied. Apologies. I do see it though, I will get to it after. I promise. Okay, that's checkpoint. Please, I need more ammo. No! Don't change on me yet. Did not realize how much damage I was taking. Oh, it's not good. Okay. Shit, there was ammo there. Back up. Back up. Zab, there you go. Fuck off. Okay, cool. Come on, man, keep going.
Holy shit. God, they took everything. Oh my god. Apologies for the silence. I was just hyper focused there. Oh my god. I don't know how I did that first try, man. I really don't. Holy shit. Nope, didn't want that. Okay. T back to chat. Um, Leslie never liked the rain. He actively went as far as to change it whenever we were on the playground. Oh shit, that's right too. The rain has always seemed to be Ruben's thing. Oh my god, it just keeps adding up. <laughs> that's not Leslie. Like, I'm accepting that as a fact now. It's not Leslie. Good job, Seb. Holy shit. you being all athletic and shit. <laughs> About time. You started at the perfect moment. Just need to be looking down at all this gross stuff. Great. Okay. Let's move forward. Holy shit. <laughs> Up, up, there you go. Up, out of boy. Oh boy. Oh, come on, man. I haven't even gotten all my ammo back together. What the f Oh. Okay. What? Come on, man. Okay. So two guns on that side. Three? Shit. I don't real care. Really? Okay. I gotta figure out- oh shit. Okay, so it's one dynamite thrower. One gunman. Get the hell out of the way. Holy shit. Okay. Shit, where? Fuck. He just under. Okay, down. Up. Shit. One. Is that it? Or is there more? Seems like that's it. <gasps> One? I get- okay. Sure. It's better than nothing. Holy shit. Alright. 
Um, please don't forget that Seb had to do that because he decided to ignore advice and look Ruben in the eye. A little bit unavoidable when he's putting you in a chokehold, but like when he's strangling life at you. But I, I get what you're saying. Also, unfortunately, have a therapy appointment, so I'll scream. It. Okay, I'll catch you later, Mira. Thanks for joining the stream. Appreciate it. Holy crap, man. Oh, I don't like the sounds. Up. Up. There we go. Oh, boy. Hate that. Okay, might have to start relying on the, uh... The warden crossbow. Oh, boy. Okay, well, apparently we don't believe in look before you leap here. Um, does that really surprise anyone, though? I think it's the bad mixture of me plus Seb. Oh, hello, Roomba. Oh, those are gonna activate. Great. Oh, boy. Ah, nope. Holy shit, almost didn't get that. Uh, you know what? Might as well. Take them while you have them. Full health is always better than half. Like, yes, technically you can survive on half. Is it optimal? No. Alright. Time to pull random levers. Oh. It's a random after all. I think I'll adjust my brightness here. There, that's better. It's not great, but it's better. on the other side. Yes, but it's for the same one. Oh no, it's for the shoddy. Okay. Great. That's good. Okay. Oh boy. Oh fuck. Oh god. Okay. Oh no. God damn it. Fuck! 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 Okay. Ah! God damn it! The fucking explosive flash. No. There. Got you, motherfucker! Shit! I'm really starting to sound like Seb now. Fuck! Still, I got one. Up! Up! Oh my god! 
Okay, got it. Oh my god. Poke someone. Well, no, I think it's really cool. Fine. Whoa! Fine, 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 I see him. God! Okay, fine, fine. Yes. Still fine. Get him. Yo. Go! Oh my god. Fine, fine, fine. Out of way, said. Holy shit. Okay. I thought he had a more of a dark. God damn it. Fine. There, go, go it. Dead? No. Fuck! This is fine, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine. There we go. There's one. Let's go. Oh shit. There we go. Yes. Go down. Get wrecked. Up, Seb. Holy shit. The hell? No, not that. Nope. There we go. Rubik. What? Oh. Okay. Got it. Okay, so Stefano all over again. This is just aperture all over again. Oh, to be fair, Ruben did it first. Okay. Um, okay. What? Can I have my goddamn light?
Oh shit, are you serious? Okay, hold on. Really? Thank God we can't fall off, eh? What the hell is that? Oh, shit! What the hell? Holy shit. Okay. Oh, you really don't want us in there. <laughs> Give me a moment, I'm making sure my audio's still all... fine. Yeah, okay, we're good. Anyways. Holy shit, this has been a roller coaster of an episode. Right. Oh, we got in. Oh yeah, right. Oh! <gasps> oh, it's not even a room anymore. Like, it is, but it's not. The room. Oh shit, okay. Wait. I can't open this one. Okay. Also, we just straight up don't have access to any more of our upgrades and- okay. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm never riding in an elevator again. <laughs> really, Sebastian? Um... Control him. Hold on. Leslie. Joseph. Kidman. Why oh, do you say them all in the same tone? Connolly. Sebastian, listen to me. Stop. Your interests are the same as ours. Look, I get it. You're not just some rookie detective, and this is not just some ordinary kid. You killed Joseph and you shot me. So right at this moment, that's enough reason for me not to trust you. You're a good man. That's why I... <sighs> Doesn't matter anymore. If you know who this kid is, if you know anything, you know why he can't be allowed to live. Bullshit. It's Ruvik. He's the one that...
Leslie, stop. What the fuck? Okay. I do my best to stay quiet during cutscenes. For any for like just to just to let it happen and, and let the scene be and not have my commentary interrupting it. And just for potential like edit use later. Whether it's my own or Whatever. Sorry, I can't form words right now. What the fuck? What just happened? There's... So we don't have time to unpack all of that. Holy sh... I mean, we do. But what the fuck? What was all of that? Oh my... Okay, so hold the fuck up. Joseph was confirmed dead. Um, Reuben, what the, f Les, what happened to Leslie? Oh my god. Fuck, Reuben's this, either he, I can't tell if he's being taken over by it, or he's controlling it, or he is it, I can't tell. What the fuck? There is so much that just fucking happened. What is going on with the world? Oh my god. I'm assume I can't tell if Stem is falling apart or Ruben's reshaping. I don't know, man. Holy shit! Oh my god, there is so much to take in there. Give me a fucking minute. What the hell? Fucking. Okay. I don't even know what to do with that goddamn information. Holy shit. There's so much to unpack there. What is going on? Okay. Wow. All right. Uh, holy shit.
Okay. Yeah, let's let's play. Go, Seb, go. Oh well. How the fuck was I supposed to touch that? How was I supposed to touch that? Yeah, I don't think we gotta worry about invisible enemies right now. I really don't think that's a th that's the thing we have to worry about right now. Okay, time to go. All right, left. Oh, I see. Okay, okay, okay. Nope. 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 Okay. Point by point. Okay. Move up. Stop. Move up. Stop. Move up. Stop. Okay. Okay. Stop here. Car, look to that. Stop. Come on, he's literally done. What? I'm confused. Do you want me to stop? Do you not want me to- I don't- I don't get it. Okay, up here. Stop. Is it literally just a 180? Okay, it is. No, it's not. I don't- How do I- Oh boy, don't turn it into one of these. Please don't fucking turn it into one of these. Do not. That's not very obvious at all. Okay, what the fuck? Okay, first one, dodge it. Car comes up. Oh, I see! Okay, well, I think. I don't know why it's like all the way to the left there. Okay. Alright. Whoa! Okay, we need like Oh my god, I can't see anything. I know it's the point, but fuck. There is so much to hate about that. Oh, I see. I see. It's like Heisenberg. Got it. Okay. One's gonna try and come forward. Okay. Come on, Seb. Oh, fuck, I can't see. Okay, there we go. I don't know if I'm wasting shots or what. Are you?
I created this world. You cannot keep me here. Ruvik. Holy shit. Sorry, I just gotta take a minute to fucking process. Also, I gotta check on my audio. Fingers crossed it didn't fuck up. I swear to god. It did not. That's good. Okay, holy shit. I'm going to finish this. What? Isn't that Ruben though? I... It's Ruben Victoriana. It is! Kill him? I just want it out. Vital signs, sir. Leave that one. And those two. They're not going anywhere. No one can. And those two? Joseph. Go, go! Detective, are you all right? Is there anyone else? Just give me some real fresh air. No way. No way.
Holy shit. Wait a minute. Did that just imply what the fuck you think it did? Ruben got out! I'm so fucking conflicted! Poor Leslie, plus the Ruben fucking got out! Oh my god! He got out through Leslie! Holy shit! That was, again, same manner as we mentioned earlier. That wasn't Leslie! That was Ruben fucking back! Oh, what the Um... Okay, machine gun acquired. Rocket launcher. 50,000 skill points. Game Plus and Model Viewer can now be selected in the main menu. Can now choose a different difficulty. That was all the, pretty much the same stuff. Alright, how long? 14 hours. Oh, if we did 15 minutes. No! Oh, if we just did 5 more minutes, we would have had a perfect record. Of 15 hours exactly. 38 deaths. That's, there's something so satisfying about 14, 55, 15 with only 38 deaths. I don't know what it is. Also, very darn 38 times. <laughs> Two more and it would have been 40. Holy shit. I know we still have DLC, but man, that main story is so good. I cannot wait to see what the DLC has in store. Man, that was such a good fucking game. <laughs> that was so I know it had its challenges I know it had its frustrating bits but that was a such a good game start to finish wow I don't think uh, at least on this channel I don't think we've walked away from a game like this before wow holy shit <laughs> that was fun Whoa, wait, what? Oh, I free- Oh! Oh! Okay. Alright, so if you want to start another playthrough, it starts you from the beginning. With all the- Okay, that's awesome! You fucking got out. I know you got out. I know you fucking got out. That wasn't Leslie. Is it weird that I'm glad he got out? <laughs> like, the DLC just sheds even more light on what happened behind the scenes with Ruben and Jimenez, from what I've heard. Like, what I've read about the DLC and stuff. It goes even further into the backstory behind Ruben and what happened with Kidman while she was gone and separated from us and all that sort of stuff. Things that we missed and weren't mentioned in the main story. So, we've only just probably scratched the surface of what Ruben's gone through. I know he's supposed to be an antagonist, but I can't- I, I personally can't help but feel bad. Like, he's the fucking victim. I'm sorry, but... That just... And it... Oh my god! <laughs> There's so much going on! That was... Oh, that was so much fun. I enjoyed that start to finish. Like I said, Every game's got those moments where it gets frustrating and stuff, but overcoming it is the best feeling ever. This was so much fun. I hope you guys really agree. Because I enjoyed almost every minute of that. Even the frustrating parts, once we got past them. Oh! Oh, look at the hallway. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Wow.
What? Play any chapter that you... Whoa, wait a minute. Wait, wait, hold on, any chapter? I just want to test this. Auto save data will be over. Yeah, hold on. Oh my god, we can! <laughs> oh, this is fantastic news. I didn't know it did this. Okay, the reason I mention this is because I also make edits um, over on my TikTok and the shorts of the YouTube channel. I don't have to go start to finish through the entire game for Ruben if I wanted to make a scene pack. That's amazing. I love that. Wait, I, oh, I gotta check after this now. Does Did the Evil Within 2 also have that? I know New Game Plus was like with all your things that you've gained and stuff, but I'm not sure if it does the same thing with being able to pick the chapters. That is fantastic. Oh, this was such a fun game. Hey, it's Seb! You know what? I honestly really liked Seb in this one. I didn't we didn't agree in the second one. Honestly, though, I I kind of vibed more with Seb on this one. We'll admit. Evil Within 2, Seb, kind of a jackass. Really a, kind of one of the, falls into more of that unlikable asshole sort of pro tags in the Evil Within 2. But I actually really vibed with him in this one. I didn't mind him at all in this one. He was he, agreeable, definitely. Way more agreeable. Oh, <laughs> to be fair, I did not choose where it zoomed in, so. <laughs> I thought it would immediately zoom on his face. Not what I was going for. <laughs> Sorry, Seb. <laughs> oh, his hair is physics. That's cool. All right. Give you a Clint Eastwood shot here. Oh, my sensitivity. There we go. So Seb is Seb's six foot even, eh? 174. He's 38 here. A fine detective, but often curt with people. Often acts before thinking things through. Didn't we just mention leaving before we looked? Making trouble for others. Really? Joseph is the only partner he's had for a significant duration. <laughs> Translation. Joseph is the only one that was able to put up with Sebastian's shit. Also, man, uh... I hate that Joseph died. He didn't deserve that, man. Okay, we got trench coat Seb. What is up with that expression? Sebastian's favorite coat given to him by his wife. He wears it all year long and never seems to get it cleaned. Seb! Come on, man, you deal with murder cases. Kidman. Apologies, I don't like her. I can't tell if she's better or worse than Evil than 2. Also, hold on. What the fuck is going on with your heels? What are th what are those? <laughs> what? I've never seen heels like that. What the fuck are those? <laughs> Kidman, man. Um, it's 27 year. Kidman has little recollection of or interest in her past. Her only concern is what she has to do now and what will happen if she fails. Yeah, we noticed. Why do you look like a zombie? Jesus. When encountered again in Ruben's... I'm not saying Rivik. I'm not calling him Rivik. In Ribbon's mental world, Kidman is badly wounded and very shaken up. Only she knows what happened to her while she was on her own. Well, we are going to find out now, aren't we? That will be tomorrow, though. Poor 
Joseph. Ugh. You didn't deserve what you got, man. <laughs> he is also five foot nine. He's thirty-three. Joseph is competent and by the books. A reliable detective, he is considerate of others, but hard on himself. Oh, Stop making me miss him. Once he's made up his mind, he sees things through to the end. His persistence often gets him into trouble, but he doesn't waver. Stop making me miss him. <gasps> Tatiana! We didn't get to see Tatiana when we left. The very end, we didn't get to see Tat, and I'm upset about it. Also, are those open toe? Why? Why open toe? Especially as a nurse. Tatiana, come on. I love you, hun, but why? Um. Wow, that's three in a row. That's five, nine. Okay. She's 38. Tatiana is a nurse in the locked ward at Beacon Mental Hospital. Seeing so many things that no one should ever have to see has left her emotionally dead and eventually taken an even greater toll. I'm sorry, what? And eventually taken an even greater toll. What does that mean? Oh, please don't tell me that implies what I think it does. No! Stop doing this to me! Oh, poor little Leslie. I feel like we failed him, but at the same time, I'm happy that Reuben got away from Mobius. I don't know how to feel about this. I really don't. Age 25? Bullshit! <laughs> what? No. I refuse to believe that. I... <laughs> Mental regression aside, he looks 15 tops. What do you mean, 25? You are not four years older than me. <laughs> I refuse to believe that. Leslie has always compensated for his difficulty communicating by unconsciously emulating the thoughts of others. This characteristic is what Ruben sought for his experiments in linking consciousnesses. Jesus. Jimenez. Ugh. Snake. 50. Old man. Marcello is a doctor who performed clandestine experiments on the patients of Beacon Mental Hospital working in collusion with a foreign organization. Hmm. Wonder who. The organization had him instated as head of the hospital, but he ultimately disappeared under mysterious circumstances. Good riddance to him. Oh, it's Laura! She was 17 when she died. Ruben's beautiful, generous sister. A little bit of an odd way to describe it at the start, but okay. Not saying she's ugly, I'm just saying why describe her specifically a bit. Anyways, the only one who understood him. In life, she preferred to wear red. Oh, man. Just everything that happened to those two, just... <sighs> Why is Ruben Victoriano in brackets? That's his fucking name. If anything, it should be the other way around. Hold on. Why can't I... Really? Why do you tip your head down? Oh, yeah, I can tip... Ha-ha! I'm trying to... He has such pretty eyes. Ten, 37 at time of disappearance. Really? See, I thought he was more closer to Leslie's age. Well, supposedly Leslie's age. I still refuse to believe that. And again, it's not just the mental regression. I'm not 
turning him into a kid because he's mentally regressed. It's he, physically he does not look 25. Cut off from the outside world, Reuben continued his research alone until one day a fire broke out in his basement laboratory. His body was never found among the smoldering remains of his once proud mansion. Jesus. And then Seb with the salt in the wound. I'm still upset about that. I know he had, like, no other choice, but... Man! Why that? Why did it have to come full circle? Uh, hold on. I didn't... Ah, my controls are sensitive. I'm not trying to zoom in that close. Vicious burns have left his skin senseless and useless for regulating his body temperature. Ravaged by ceaseless headaches and physical and mental seizures. He was known for being close to the physical limits of his body. Oh no. Oh, you poor thing. Again, I know he was supposed to be the antagonist, but like... Ugh. I, this just hurts. I am so glad you got away from Mobius. I feel really sorry about Leslie. I do, but I am so glad we got him the fuck away from... I'm so glad he got away from Mobius. Five foot two at age ten. What? I was five two at like thirteen. Damn, that's tall for... Is... Is it just me, or does that feel tall for a ten-year-old? <laughs> Child aged Reuben. When he still retained a shred of innocence. Oh, don't- Stop hurting me, Bethesda! At this age, he began showing glimpses of his morbid interests, doing things like dissecting small animals. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh. Reuben lost his sister in a fire that is believed to have been set by local villagers. He underwent lengthy and painful rehabilitation, during which he met Dr. Jimenez, the man who would change his life. For the worst! Bastard. Oh, he's 18 here. Coming of age, young Reuben rejected further skin regeneration treatments, instead retreating into his basement laboratory. I wonder why he started rejecting them. Hmm. Maybe too time-consuming? Alter ego. Oh! <laughs> oh, is that what you're called? Six foot seven. Jesus. The result of connecting a subject with dissociative identity disorder to the STEM device. The dominant and alternate personalities blend into a single two-headed creature. Sadist. Oh yeah, that makes sense. A creature born from the mind of a murderer emerged with Reuben's madness. He has lost himself to rage, becoming murderousness personified. Seven foot three? What the hell? That is not okay. Zane. Nine foot ten. See, that one makes more sense. Zane, what were you from? Twin orphans abandoned and raised in a laboratory beneath the cemetery. The more cowardly of the two, Zane lashes out violently at those he doesn't know and is usually kept chained up. Zane and Noon. Oh! Oh, that's who those two were! Oh, okay! Those giants we fought in, like, I think episode four? Okay, they were different. Noin is never at ease and gets worked up so easily that he is made to wear a mask that covers his eyes and ears. <laughs> this one! This bastard! Hi! 
Yes, we're going through all these. No, I don't care if it makes the episode nearly two hours long. You saw the end of the game. If you're bored, leave. <laughs> Appreciate you being here for the playthrough, but uh, I'm curious about these, so I'm investigating. Seven foot seven. Yeah, that sounds about right. A creature created from a blend of Reuben's final memories before he was dismembered. <gasps> and his fury at having his research stolen from his safe. Anyone who approaches the safe is killed and their severed head added to those in the sack. This just, all of this just screams to me. He's just trying to protect himself. This, this does not help me see him as an antagonist. You do realize this, right, Bethesda? This just keeps on making me see him as a victim. Yeah, you can pull the whole, but, but the experiments, okay. Jimenez was part of that too. That's a dual that's a dual effort. Also, no, I'm not forgiving it. I'm just I'm not excusing it. I'm just saying it was one of those things, the wrong action coming from the right place. He just wanted his sister back. Trauma. Yeah! That sounds about right. Yeah, no, that's appropriately named. Creature born from Reuben's concept of death and rebirth. Based upon his rejection of the religion his father forced upon him from an early age. You know, I'm really beginning to appreciate how in-depth this first game is. Compared to The Evil Within 2. You know, I at first saw people trashing on Evil Within 2. Not saying I'm doing I still really enjoy Evil Within 2. I am just seeing the difference now. There is a huge difference in theme, in depth, in like... Just a lot of it is way different. It feels like Evil Within 2 went more... I can't even say more heavy on the body horror, because it really didn't. It kind of turned into... It kind of turned into just your standard zombie survival horror game. That's not a bad thing. Like I said, I still enjoyed it, but um, it went very basic. Hey, Mira's back. You missed so much. Oh my god, I can't even begin to go over what you missed. You have to watch the YouTube, the VOD or the YouTube video. The, I can't even begin to unpack what you missed. <laughs> you want to see the Ruben model? All right, we already went through him, but that's I'm fine with doing that again. <laughs> he has about four. Hold on, I gotta tip them the right way. So you can see them. There's pretty boy. And yeah, no, I'm completely unashamed to admit that I find Ruben attractive. Like, pretty. Handsome and pretty. There's that one. There's this one. Yeah, see, I'm not the only one. Mira invites him, too. Is it... Oh, he's missing in your... Oh, no! Yeah, everything we've been reading about Ruben is just making me feel worse and worse and still make... I can't even register him as an a full... full-blooded antagonist anymore. He's just a fucking victim, man. Good lord, man needs a good meal. I know, he's so thin. Again, I have to adjust the camera up. I am not zooming in there on purpose. His eyes are so pretty, though. And look! It's baby Reuben. I'm gonna gloss over that one. We're just going through all the monsters. They look almost silver. They really do. They really are like almost silver. So let's see. Sentinel. Oh, is that the dog's name? Hi, Sentinel. You're still. God. That's just. <laughs> 
doggo, but also, oh my god, that is not okay. <laughs> that melt, I still stand by the fact that that melt looks like the dredge from DVD. Um, Guardian of the church, bred in a cult laboratory beneath the cemetery. It was raised on sacrificial victims and craves human flesh. Wh what was going on? What? I know, I know Kenbin's DLC, I know, but like, my god. Laura, oh, this is reborn, Laura. Oh, her is physics. Okay, hold on. I heard someone mention, um, well, not heard so much. Amira mentioned, um, who's currently in chat. And look at the feet, yeah, exactly, I know. Hold on, we're not being weird. Apparently in the book, the only thing, like, true article of clothing Laura has is shoes. Oh, she does! She does have shoes! I could have sworn when we saw her pass by, she didn't. When she was in the cage. No, she does! Um... A creature born from the memory of Laura's tragic death and Reuben's own vengefulness. The thing is nearly immune to bullets, but reacts violently to open flame. I wonder why. Quell. Ooh! Oh, that's you! Oh! A creature generated by Reuben's desire to remain unseen by others. This just- This is just making me feel more bad for him! But that's- If you were trying to make us hate him, and like, be like, yeah, gotta like that. You're failing. You're you're straight up failing. I just I'm I'm feeling worse and worse. <laughs> it changes color to blend in with its surroundings and uses its long tentacles to ensnare the unwary and slay them. This thing is fourteen feet. Oh my god. Shigyo. What the hell? <gasps> you. Sorry, I have a personal vendetta with this fucking thing. You! Oh! I fucking hate you. An aquatic monster born when a subject drowned during testing and their consciousness became lost within Reuben's mental world. It dwells in the murky depths and attempts to pull under anyone who draws near. Okay. Is there multiple of them? Because when we went up against it, there was multiple. Amalgam Alpha. Ooh. Jesus. Just look at the detail in this thing. It's gross, but it's cool at the same time. How many heads? Hold on, there's one over there in the corner. There's a second one facing us there. It looks like there's a third one starting on that branch there. Could just be a shoulder. There's another head there. There's like three. Oh, hold on, there's a body underneath. So it's like four. Oh, there's a fifth one on the arm there. Jesus. Is there more? Doesn't look like it. The final consciousness of test subjects who died while connected to the stem combine into one single horrific shape. It attacks anything that moves, attempting to flee from certain death. THAT'S HOW WE WERE SUPPOSED TO SNEAK AROUND- Oh my god. That's how we were supposed to fucking sneak around it. That's why I was able to crouch behind... ...and have it come so close. It was- It's a goddamn T-Rex! I know that was disproved as the only thing I have to reference. Shut up. It's a fucking T-Rex. That's how I was supposed to sneak- some, I know we had to fight it in the second half. I know that. Now, well, I do now. What are you telling me? All I had to do was not move! Oh my god, I hate it. Oh, I hate it. Heresy. Oh, that was the thing that chased... Wait, what? Oh, yeah, no, there's a face. Okay. A monster with massive insect-like legs. The creature is a test subject who completely lost his identity while connected to the stem and went on a rampage. 
devouring the consciousness of anyone he found. Amalgam, that makes sense. Yeah, you missed... Uh, you, you missed so much. Like, you missed a huge-ass boss fight. You missed a shit ton of emotions. Um, yeah, it got bigger. Uh-huh. <laughs> it sure did. A creature that combines the anger and animosity of the victims of Ruben's research and his own madness. It grows larger as it absorbs the fear and hatred around it. Also, can we... No? Oh, you don't want to zoom in? Um, look at the very front of its head. Like, where, um, you know when you get headaches in the, in the front of your head there, like right above your eyes? Check there. You see the body in there? I'm trying to... Oh, I'm trying to get you a better look, but it's not letting me zoom in any further. Do you see the torso in there, though? Yeah, um... That's Reuben! If you look right at the front... That one piece that's stick that looks a little bit paler than the rest and like more formed and not so much of a brain. Of Ruben's hat? Yeah, no, because that yep, yeah, that's Ruben. Mm -hmm. Yep, Ruben's in there. We had to shoot that thing. You'll see you'll see in the in the VOD in the YouTube video. I'm gonna Yeah, there we go. Malgam Core. There he is. Hold on. I'm trying to get there he is. I'm not lying. No, I'm not. We actively had to fight this. Nope. <laughs> He's right there. Nope. That's Ruben. I'm not kidding. That is Ruben. Yeah. No, I was not joking. I was not kidding. Um, very deep within the creature's body, Ruben is only vulnerable when it opens its head, exposing the core. Yeah, the haunted... Human test subjects connected to the stem and turn into creatures by synchronizing with Ruben's consciousness. Sorry, that was a little bit fast. I didn't mean to go that well, that fast. Oh yeah, you'll see how that fucking went down. Somehow, even people who couldn't be connected to the stem appeared as monsters. See. Come on. Subjects retain a glimmer of their original consciousness, appearing as they did in life. However, having died in the real world, they have lost their true humanity. Oh, that's Os Oh. That's Oscar and uh, Jimenez's brother. Ugh. Hey, I'll see all that went down. Haunted attack normal humans on sight and attempt to devour their brains, perhaps in an effort to recover their lost memories. Though they are simple-minded, some of them use weapons and tools, and some individuals appear to be driven by someone's commands. Some haunted, having a higher level of synchronization with Reuben, wear strange masks or hoods. Oh. Oh, that's why they looked like that. Random reason, but okay, but that's not. Animals. Yes. Birds, livestock, and other living creatures not turned into monsters are most almost certainly the remnants of memories of subjects connected to STEM. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> knife. Yes. <laughs> a survival knife found stuck into a dead body in the room beneath the hospital. Apart from a sneak kill, taking on monsters with this is suicide. Yeah, I'm not going to subject myself to a knife-only run. 
grenade, a revolver, shotgun, or a sniper rifle. Automatic hand. I'm sorry. Magnum, which I actually did not use once. The agony crossbow, which I barely used. The burst hand. I'm sorry. Double barreled shotgun. High penetr. What? The machine gun. Oh yeah, we unlocked that. And we unlocked that. What? Yeah, I know. that. How do we get those? How much did you miss? I don't know. I don't know if that's like completion rewards because we got the machine gun and the rocket launcher as completion rewards for a certain mode. Which is the, the casual mode that we played the main story through. So I actually don't think we missed those. Those might have just been um, rewards. So also, um, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you about that later. I'm not going to repeat it on stream. Um, but yeah, anyways. Um, thank you so much for joining me for The Evil Within. We still, as I mentioned, have two pieces of Kidman DLC to play. So we are not completely done with this game, but we are done with the main story. So thank you so much for joining me. Um, I stream every weekday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The full VODs go up on YouTube at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Have a good one and stay safe.